Hello there fellow humans and welcome to this video and uh, today there are new crates in the shop Ugh. again unfortunately and this time it is the Sumula SM as you can see right here well let's take a look at the tank itself because obviously you know the crates are never worth it don't buy the crates you know there is currently the MX M449 in the shop for 7000 gold which is a guaranteed buy um, and he's also a very, very strong tank. So I would uh, advise you to buy that rather than waste your money on stupid crates because the drop chance is only 4%. So not cool. You also got to collect 25 charms. So uh, if you want to spend 25k gold on a tier 8, that's your decision. That's that's your stupidity. But yeah. So let's take a look at uh, the Sumo SM compared to the 5100, which is obviously its tech tree counterpart, the MXM 449 which is a other French tier 8 heavy premium, and then the ML, because why not? Like, if, if it's better than the ML, that that's not too bad, because the ML is a good tank, it's just quite shit when you compare it to the M449, because, you know, it doesn't have armor at all. So yeah, as you can see, the first thing already is ha it has a lot less DPM than the 5100, which is quite sad. It has the same alpha damage, and it also has three shells, which means it has less than it is in World Tanks PC, so it's not cool. It also is less accurate and has worse dispersion and worse dispersion on the move than the MX-5100. Then, one very big good point about this tank is the gun depression, because it has 10 degrees of gun depression rather than 6, which then matches it with the MX, M4 and the ML, which is cool. Then, in terms of speed, it is again slower than the MX-5100. However, where well, this tank shines is the armor. It has 208 millimeters at the turret, which is, you know, very strong. And uh, it also has uh, 161 in the hull. The sides aren't very strong. I mean, you know, you can really, you can't really side scrape, obviously. So, nope. You can pen the turret, however, you know, because the turret is uh, quite flat in that sense. So, you can go through it with premium ammo for most tier 8 tanks, so mm, you still gotta watch out for that. Obviously, MXM4, miles better armor right here, as you can see. I'm a special in turret. The side armor of the MX is a bit meh, but you can still kind of side scrape it if it wouldn't be for the plates on the sides here. But yeah, that's that. Does it look worth it? I mean, definitely not in crates. That's that's obvious, you know, it's, it's never worth it in crates, because, you know... If you want to spend 25k gold, the fuck? You know, you can get this for 7.5k, and it is... If you look at the raw stats, it is the better tank. The M449 is the better tank if you do look at the raw stats. Besides for the view range, but who cares about that? So yeah, now we're back in the game, and I'm not really sure which one to get. Do I get 3 or do I get 10? I don't really want the tank, so... Mm, I don't care, but, you know, this is YouTube, so... For the memes, I'll open 10, and, uh... Hopefully, you can support the channel, and you can, uh... Stop me from eating beans by subscribing and liking, and maybe even becoming a member. The buttons are all down there. So yeah, uh, I'll, I guess I'll have to eat beans for another week and be annoyed by people sending me platoon requests for a decent Wednesday. So yeah. With that said, let's open the 10 Samoa crates. Right here. Let's go. What do we get? If we get anything. Now, we don't get anything. Welcome to the booster land. Okay, so let's say this is worth 200 gold. Must be there, so 400. Right there, we have 400 gold, because why not? 600 out of 3 crates, that cost 3k, we got 600, 800 out of 4, there we go, we got that, makes sense. 1000 out of 5, then let's say this is worth, hmm, let's say this is worth 400, so 1400, right there. 1,400, 1,600. <laughs> We're not making a good money here, are we? It's, uh, it's not going well. Ah, there we go. Let's say... Let's be generous here and say this is worth 1,000 gold, you know. 3,600, right there. Um, You know, I'm, be I'm being generous here with the gold values. 3,800, 
And, uh... 4,000. Is it? It is. <laughs> so yeah, I spent 10,000 gold to, to get 4,000 gold in value. If you think that's worth it, you're stupid. So yeah, obviously, I'm not gonna buy any more. Because I don't care about the tank. And, uh, with that said... I'm gonna show you... What a real tirate premium tank looks like now, okay? And that is the M449, because this tank is amazing. So yeah, if you are looking at throwing out your money today, then don't waste your money for Samua crates, then buy this tank instead. Because not only is it better than the Samua, it is also easier to play, so that is also good for the not so good players among people, among you, right? Um, you know, because even though the Samoa has decent armor, it's still not a lot, so it needs advanced game knowledge to work better. With this thing, eh, you can do anything, really. Obviously, you, you should still be a somewhat decent player, because if you don't have a clue, you're not gonna make any tank work, and you're gonna end up with 40% and ruining everyone's day. So let's not hope that. But, what is so good about this tank? Well, first of all, it's not in crates, which is amazing. It is not in crates, which is the first... A, you know, bonus of this thing. The second bonus of it, that is a perfect all-rounded tank. You know, it has great armor, it has a great gun, it has great mobility. It has amazing accuracy, it has 10 degrees of gun depression, it has everything. You can't deny that. A tank is great when all of its stats are above average. Guess what this thing has, hmm? You know, you, you don't necessarily have to be, like, the best at one thing. If you're better than the average on all things, hello. You're great now, basically. Now, what isn't great is the enemy team, because they did go into the city, and we all know city players are bad. So we can try to exploit that now. Uh, give us that progetto, if I can aim at whatever it is in the morning. Okay. The at 15s kind of got dead. And then another tip, obviously, never go into people head-on. Always flank them, because if you go into people that are pushing you head-on, you're gonna jump into their momentum, and their momentum is gonna kill you. However, if you're gonna go around them, you're gonna break the momentum, because they have to turn, and then you have the momentum, and then you can kill them. It also works for tournaments, by the way, so, uh, you know, don't, don't stand behind, get the hell out of there. You can't shoot that, even though I would like to. Um, he's trying to bait it, I know, but I tried it anyway, because, like, a bit of his ass was showing, so let's take a shot now. Okay, where's the 5100 there? And uh, he's below me, yup. There we go. This is what I mean with this tank being very good. It can do everything. It can do fight everywhere. It can fight everything. Well, maybe not a smasher, because that's the smasher. But like... <laughs> no, it, it definitely can fight a smasher. That's not a problem there. Um... It definitely can fight a smasher. And it is better and cheaper than the Centurion 5-1. So, I don't know why you spend money on that. Rip to the people that did. And rip to the people that are gonna spend money on the Samoa crates and get a... A, a B-Tech 5100, basically, with more armor. Like, it's like the, the ML 1951 situation all over again, right? Whereas... The um, ML-1 has more armor. The ML 1951 doesn't have any, basically. Unless you go really fully hull down. It's the opposite with the MX and the Samoa. The Samoa has gun depression and has armor, but lacks gun uh, DPM, lacks accuracy, and lacks speed, even though it is quite fast. And compared to this thing, it's shit anyway, so... You know? That's the thing for premium tanks, you know? It doesn't matter how good it is. It does not matter how good a premium tank is. If it's a bad value, then it's not worth it. It's bad, you know? The tank itself does not matter shit. Remember that for premiums. It does not fucking matter. If a tank... Let's say, if this thing costs 7,500 gold, and the T-54E2 costs 15,000 gold, then even though that the T-54 is a better tank, it's not worth it compared to this one, because it's not worse by half the price, right? the same with the STG. The STG is a pile of shit. Um, why would you p spend 12,000 gold on it? You know? Or why would you spend 5,000 gold on the MX-1357 when the Type 62 is a better vehicle but was sold for 3,000 gold? 
You know, that's the thing about premium tanks. It's always about the tank's value, not about the tank's performance. That's, uh, that's the important thing, you know? Because why would you spend money on something worse that you gotta spend more? And it's the same case here. The MXM449 is a better tank than Samoa. You know, I'm not stupid. I know how this game works. It is. It just is. Um. So, see? 3.5k. Just like that. Boom. Not even... Not even a challenge. And GG to the ML. Well played. So yeah. That's that. Don't fucking buy the Samoa. Just don't. Don't waste your money on crates. If you want a very, very good premium tank for a very good price, get this thing. The rest can fuck off. And you can like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.